with that, we welcome you to the U.S. Open Tennis Channel Live on the air on this Tuesday pregame coverage on the second day from New York City and the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center. One player yesterday said it felt like a ghost town. The storefronts and walkways all remain for where the town folk used to be, but now it's all empty. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tennis Channel Live on this second day of the U.S. Open with Hall of Famer Jim Courier. I'm Brett Haber. First day of this unusual U.S. Open in the books. What do you think of what you saw? Look, it sounded different. It looked different, but the tension was there. The tennis was back, and, and for me, that's what it's all about. You could see the players enjoying the moment, enjoying being back in there, but also kind of looking around and wondering, well, this, is, this is a little bit weird, but weird's okay as long as we're actually playing. We will take weird if it comes with tennis. Let's show you some of what we have for you in store over the next hour. Serena Williams kicks off her 20th U.S. Open today. What are her expectations after some recent slam disappointments? Tennis.com's Ed McGrogan joins us from inside the bubble, gives us a feel for what life is like for the players and everybody else going through all the protocols, plus the latest installment of coaching in the bigs this one with danny valverdu all that and more coming your way on the show but first we have to say good morning to the rest of the panel lower right it's the four-time u.s open singles champion martina navratilova lower left it's john wertheim up close and personal from uh, tennis channel sports illustrated in 60 minutes uh guys uh what do you think of what you saw yesterday martina especially on ash we hadn't seen play on ash yet the most cavernous stadium in this sport uh a bit eerie some said I think the sound would be really different there. But what we saw, as as Jim said, was tension, but less emotion maybe from the players themselves because they don't have the crowd to interact with. So not as much reaction from the players when they hit a great shot, et cetera, because there's nobody to play to. But for them, I think it's like playing practice matches, except these count. No crowd, but this counts. The tension is there. Same song, a different verse. We had upsets, we had comebacks, we had five centers, seeds went out, seeds advanced. Felt like a normal day of tennis. One thing we didn't have a lot of was retirements, which was nice to see. Players stayed in shape. But no, this was a, a happily normal first day of a major, all things considered, guys. Yeah, and, and John, thankfully, the weather was also really mild. We've had some really hot first weeks at the U.S. Open in recent years where players in midseason form have had a lot of retirements. That was not the case. Weather was very mild, and I think that also helped the players kind of make their way through some physically challenging, some lengthy matches. But, again, just nice to see them all back out there grinding it out and, and doing it uh, at the slam level. By the way, before we move on, Martina, the uh, Room Raider has given you a very high marks for your decor. What is that paint, <laughs> that uh, item behind your right shoulder? Uh, that one, that yeah. One. yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's uh, that's a painting I made with tennis balls. Actually, that one we made in Australia. Oh. And I have a wrap of that on my car. But, uh, yeah, I made, I made paintings for uh, collaboration with, uh, with Euro Crowley, an artist, uh, that we make paintings with tennis balls. The other <laughs> one is there as well. Did, did you say you have a uh, wrap? I may change them up. Yeah, um, yeah, I have a, I, yeah, I have a on wrap, your car uh, from a local dealer. He made a, he made a, uh, a wrap out of it uh, on my car, so it kind of gets seen. People take pictures of my car. Okay, uh, I thought she was I'm talking about that. Shapovalov that she was competing with Dennis <laughs> with, for a wrap. I wasn't sure. You kind of lost me there for a second. On the no, other no, hand, no, if you're driving around Florida and you see that painting on somebody's car, you know that's Martina driving uh, next yeah, to you. I need to behave myself. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at some of the feature matches that we'll have for you on the second day of the tournament. Infinity Dashboard shows us Andy Murray against Nishioka. We've got Serena against her fellow American Christiane, big sister, also on Ash today. Uh, guys, uh, pick one that uh, you're looking forward to, Jim. Start us off. It can be on this list or, or off the menu. Well, I'll start with Medvedev, who was a memorable finalist last year, and he had so many amazing interactions with the New York crowd. That will not be the case this year. He's starting against the Argentine, Del Bonas. I like Medvedev a lot in this tournament, especially with the speedy surface. How about you, Martina? Well, I have to go with, of course, Serena Williams, Christiane. Christiane had the tournament of her life last year, got to the fourth round. Played off the crowd, now there won't be the crowd, but uh, it's got a lot of points to defend. But of course, Serena Williams going for 24. It's a completely different feel for her, but I think should be all business. We forget that Sonia Cannon won the previous major on essentially the same surface. Now she comes to the US Open. She had 53 unforced errors in her previous match, so not a lot of momentum, but hailed the second seed. A pity she can't do a bit of a victory lap as an American champion at the previous major. All right, all part of the order of play that you'll see in New York today. Bottom half of both draws in action.